give everybody one of them or a couple of them just for good luck. How we doing guys? Barbecue Rockstar here. It is a beautiful day as you can see here in North Texas. So uh, I thought we would uh, do a little bit of live uh, rib cook, show you guys my methodologies from start to finish. Um, I'm going to fire this big bad boy up here in a minute. I've got all the coal already set. All I've got to do is light the tumbleweed underneath it and boom, we're going to have fire. As soon as we get a couple more people in, we'll get that process started. Okay, I see no one's here, but I'm going to start anyway. I got ribs to cook, guys. First of all, let's go ahead and open up our flues. Big Bad Daddy from Cincinnati. Lighter little tumbleweed here. Get that started. You guys, this is all you need to get your fire started. It's just a little tumbleweed like that. Set your coal over that, your starter, your chimney. We'll open up that grate right there. Now, it's not very windy at all. Uh, looks like there's a couple of y'all in. How y'all doing? The wind's not going to affect us much today, guys. It's a uh, very chill, very uh, calm day here. Beautiful sunshine. I would say it's about 75, 76 degrees. Um, so, uh, hope wherever you guys are, it's a beautiful day as well. Guys, I love my neighbors, man. We got some really cool neighbors. That's Mariano. He's my neighbor next door. Uh, he loves coming hang out with us when we cook. So. Guys, I'll go ahead and throw the link up there. Hey, Purple, how are you? Good to see you today. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I don't know who else is in the who else is watching, but I know it's purple and probably Des. But I'm going to go ahead and post the link in case anybody wants to come up and join us. There's the link right there, guys. Okay. What am I, what am I cooking today? Purple, we're going to do baby back ribs. Okay. Is that cool with you? Baby back ribs, huh? Oh, we're going to do them upright too. A little special treat at the end. So basically purple, this is a come and go kind of event. I'm going to be live uh, as, as long as I can be, as long as my battery will hold up. I've got my portable charger here. So hopefully, hopefully we can maintain our battery long enough to do this in one shot. Uh, but if not, I'll have to charge my battery and come back. But uh, I'm going to try to do this. Um, so uh, we will see what's going on. Hope you're having a great day, Purple. Yeah, All right, so we got to deep arc some pecan wood. Very important, guys, when you're cooking. Okay, this is how you buy your splits, right? Got your heartwood there in the middle, and you've got your bark on the outside. Now, the bark we don't want for cooking. This outer shell, this bark, this happens to be pecan wood, and you can see how thick that bark is. 
Okay, this is the equivalent of if you've ever had a pecan in the shell, you know, that really acrid little tiny membrane that's in there gives it that weird uh, bitter taste. This bar, guys, will do the same thing for your fire. Okay, now it's totally okay to burn this as it is uh, if your food is wrapped or what you can do is do debark it and use the outside bark to help build your fire, your coal bed, which is what I'm going to do. I've got about uh, 70 pounds of, uh, of bark laying over here from, from previous, but I'm going to show you guys my tip on how to debark a split of wood if it's like this. You know, I used to sit here with a hatchet and try to do it. I, you know, I cut my finger. No, I didn't cut my finger off, but let me show you how I do this, guys. Turn the camera over here so you can see it. I'm out in my driveway, as you can tell. Just so simple, guys. One shot, gets her done. And now you have your outer bark, which you can use in your chimney. You can use it to get your coal bed started. And you're left with just heartwood here, guys, to cook with. A little bit of bark still remaining, but that's not going to bother anybody. Go ahead and put this down here. Woo! It's going to be a beautiful day, guys. Beautiful day. We're going to put you back here in the garage so the sun doesn't get to the phone too bad see here if we can do that okay great all right so we got des hey des how are you good to see ya purple says she's gonna be sitting there watching me okay great let me see if i can't go ahead and plug my charger in here go ahead and start i've been on my phone all morning guys i've been up since 4 a.m central standard time today so i'm gonna see perhaps if i can't get my uh, a little Bigfoot charger to uh, start charging as we go here. That way I won't have to disrupt our live broadcast for anything. And no, it's not charging. Of course it's not. Okay, we'll see if that works. Okay. We shall see, guys. We shall see. All right, I've got one in the basement. Here we go. Hey, there's Des, my favorite friend. How are you, Des? Welcome. Thanks, John. How are you? How are you? I'll give you a couple of them back points. Hey, look at here. Look at this day out here, Des. It's gorgeous. Got a little smoke rolling. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, yeah. So how's your day, Des? Quiet. Very quiet. The kids yeah. are upstairs, and I'm just chilling down here. So you've been going live a lot. Are you uh, getting plenty of rest and uh, hydration, I hope? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I slept um, slept like seven hours last night. Oh, shit. Lucky you. Yeah, that's all lucky for me. <laughs> right. I'm going to uh, turn the camera and the little Porta Studio around for a minute see if I can angle this down and I can sit down and relax and enjoy you guys while I have you here. So what's on your agenda for today? Don't you have a live stream going later today, Des? No, no. That was um, Thursday night. And then if anybody goes live, then what I do is I piggyback off of theirs for the extra watch time. And then it gives me a chance to... Um, introduce new people to other people for so they can you know the network can get bigger basically that's cool yeah it's a new feature that um stream yard has offered that you oh, yeah. can uh, you can pick co-streaming co -streaming, yeah yeah i've been to i've not yet looked into it man i've been so damn busy it's been crazy but i did wash my hair today <laughs> Oh, all fluffy. <laughs> well, you know how it is, man. When you have a lot of hair, it's like kind of a nightmare to wash your hair because you got to work all the tangles out. And it's just. Oh, uh, yeah. It's shampoo, it's conditioner, comb through it, rake it out. Yeah. Yep. yep. I don't know about you, but I pull out enough hair every day to uh, build a bird's nest. Me here. Me here. Same here. <laughs> me here. <laughs> yeah. We got Chat here. So purple saying hi to Des. Des saying hi to purple. Purple's giving me the 
a couple of them bad boys right there. Uh, that is not purple. That is not a new refrigerator. It is new to me. Uh, my friend Bill, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, gave that fridge to me. I don't know if it works. I've not yet plugged it in. My one in the house does not work. Um, so I, uh, well, it works and that doesn't work. It works. I can hear the compressor working sometimes and other times not. I'm afraid to open it because I opened it one time and it stunk so bad. Oh, no. I mean, worse than rotting flesh. I mean, it was just the worst god awful smell you can ever imagine inside that fridge. It was just absolutely horrid. Um, if I would have known that, then I would have just left the doors open 24 7, but uh, that's not very practical in a small kitchen. Hi, Mary's place. Hey, Mary, how are you? If you get it out, put it in the garage and open it up for a while and let it air out. <clears throat> Or well, throw some vanilla on a on a cotton ball and stuff yeah. it in there. So the deal is, is that my landlords were here today. I have absentee landlords that live in New York City, and they were down here today to view the property because they don't know if they want to. They have to do a lot of work. You know, I think I've told everybody that there's a lot of. Uh, you can see it behind me, right? Yep. Hey, trumpet master. Hi, boxcar Jerry. You can see it right up there where the wall separating from the ceiling yeah. throughout the house and places. So the, Hey, Luis, how are you, man? Good to see you, my brother. How you doing? How you doing? Sorry guys. I forgot to turn my phone on airplane mode. I keep getting calls. Um, so anyway, they were here today to see if they want to um, invest the money in fixing the house up to either rent it again at a higher rate. Um, because when I started renting uh, was 12 years ago or 11 years ago, and it was a lot less. And although yeah. they've got, although they've gone up every seems like every year of my rent, uh, I'm now paying like 1850. They yeah. can get they can get probably 2400 for this house, and they know I'm not going to pay that increase. So yeah, uh, we've already had those conversations. So they don't know if they're going to rent it out or just outright sell it. But either way, I'm going to be displaced. Uh, uh, if I don't hurry up and find a place to live. So I don't know if it's, what it looks like, if it's going to be 30 days from now, 60 days, 90 days, I don't know, but uh, I've got to get my ass in gear and get uh, get a new domicile. So Des, you better make room for me down there in Florida. I'm coming. <laughs> There's no room for your uh, smoker. <laughs> well, we'll leave that here. Oh, okay. No, you we'll won't. Here. No, you won't. <laughs> well, actually, I will, uh, because wherever I move in the interim, if it's not my own place, I'm going to have to put this thing in storage because it's so heavy and so big. Yeah. You need a lift gate on a truck or else you're not going to get you're not going to move it. You're just no, not I know. I know what you're saying. Oh, you just did your chicken cook, uh, Luis. That's awesome. <laughs> Joe Master, just leave it at my place. <laughs> So Mary's place, yes, there is a sinkhole. It's uh, so Mary. In my, I've got two bathrooms. Okay, so my front or my guest bath, what the uh, what the owners are stipulating or what they're saying actually is that the cast iron pipes that this house was built in 1972. Okay, back then they used cast iron pipes for water and sewer. Well, over time, you know, we have a very acidic soil here, clay soil. So over time, with the ground moving and scraping against that, um, it rots out over time and collapses so inside the house now you can't really see it but you can feel it if you start if you come in my side door to my kitchen and walk to the living area you can tell you're going downhill but you can't see it it's not it's not obtuse or anything but yeah the house there's not it there's not a door that opens or closes all the way um you know uh my front door does i can't even open that's not good. The way the door jams are kind of slightly tilted, the door will not open um, because the house basically is leaning on that tilt, tilt, yeah, flat surface. So I can't get the old fridge out because that's the only door large enough to get it out from. Is the oh front. no! So I can't get this big beast in there, and I already measured it when it got here, and it will not fit in any. So what? I, that's okay. I've got a freezer back here, as you can see. A big chest freezer. I could plug this refrigerator in out here if it runs, and I could. I'm gonna ask you that. Can you plug it in out there? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I got a phone call. It's okay. I got rid of them. Okay. 
<laughs> should have put my phone on do not disturb. But I do have a couple of friends coming by today, so. Nice. I knew a man when I was a little girl, a neighbor that was a kind man, swallowed up here in Florida. They never found him. Oh, wow. So, yeah, down. I'm from Daytona Beach. I was born in Daytona Beach, Mary's place. Is, is your name Mary? Is her name Mary Des? I'm not sure. Probably if it's Mary's place, it could yeah, be. I'm, I mean, I saw you get these beautiful fluorescent graphics on your page. I saw that, but I'm assuming your name's Mary. If it's not, please do correct me. I'm so sorry, uh, but it's nice to meet it you. It is. She said, it yes, is. it is. Okay, yeah. great. So Mary, down in Daytona, we were always hearing out in Deland, Delian Springs area where the ground would just open, you know, the sands would just wash away and then it would devour whole houses, cars, pastures with cows in it. It would just open up and fall 20 feet. So um, and some are even, uh, the crevasses are even bigger than that. So yeah, down in Florida, when they have those shifting sands and quicksand, uh, right below the soil table, cause you're right there at sea level, you know? And, uh, so that, that will happen. Um, yeah. I remember reading in newspapers, uh, you know, when I was a kid about that stuff. So, uh, we even got to see my grandparents took us by one place where that actually happened. We got to saw what was left and it was, it was kind of, kind of sad. Um, the whole house was gone. Just that the tail end of a car was sticking out of the hole. Everything else was gone. I mean, just way down there, 20, 30 feet down there. So yeah, that is a thing, but luckily I don't have, I don't have anything like that. So um, I just have a broken sewer line out there that uh, is collapsed. So luckily it still works. We still have good pressure. So in other words, I don't have any backups, but it does necessitate every six months to have a uh, roto rooter guy come out and uh, clear a pathway, you know, cause all the toilet paper and all that stuff, thank God I live here by myself. Um, but, uh, you know, with, with just stuff, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff that gets clogged up in those lines, you know, over time it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So I've got a guy and plus hair, hair in the drain, even though I have meshes over all the drains, um, it necessitates a roto rooter. So that's what we do every six months. I didn't hear about that, Mary. I didn't hear about the uh, tower in Miami. I didn't hear about that. Was that something new that happened? Is that the one that happened last year, the year before? Yeah, I don't think it was oh, Miami, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't hear the final death toll on that, but I knew it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I'll tell you what else is bad is that tornado outbreak that just struck. And there's fixed to be another one tomorrow night into Monday. Yeah. Uh, all those poor people, man. I mean, I was looking Arkansas. at... I was looking at video of Indiana today indiana arkansas miles, indiana both of them miles and miles of nothing but foundations and rubble and debris cars that were carried away into a pasture upside down covered in mud yeah uh, and little then rock, arkansas got hit really bad yeah too. little rock uh, all up through little rock up there uh they got hit really bad so and i think it was a day before or two days before something like that rolling fork rolling fork with another one. Yeah. So that's one why the, one of the many things I don't like about the South. Well, you know, I, I yeah. hurricanes and tornadoes. Uh, 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 uh. I agree. You know what? Sitting out here today and there's not barely a puff of wind when we've yesterday and the day before we had 40 mile an hour sustained winds. It was cool. Yeah, um, so today I have a peaceful day. Now we're supposed to have storms tonight into tomorrow all day. We'll see what those have, but I think we're in a slight risk. We're not in a moderate risk, but um, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of more storms coming guys. And it's going to hit the same areas that just hit already. So it's going to be terrible. Yeah. So, but that's why we're taking advantage of today. It's a beautiful day. And uh, so that's what we're gonna, Yeah. So anyway, guys, let me go over here and check my fire and see if I, I'm ready to put wood to it yet. I'll be right. Actually, I can turn you. No, I'll I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Frank. Welcome. Hit the thumbs up for John. Hey, DJ. 
Welcome back. If you're, you're home now, right, TJ? 8 watching, 4 thumbs up. Hit them up, folks. Hit them up. Frank, hit it up. I'm two away from 300 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. Awesome, DJ. If Dad's there, hi, Dad. Thank you, Frank. We'll see how long the number holds at 298 right now. Hopefully it won't drop down. I'll continue to rise. Hey, Frank, how are you? Does that count? Sure it counts, buddy. Hey, DJ, how are you? It's all because of your banner. Exactly, Frank. What Frank, are you my, Frank, I go, I got 298 subscribers. I'm two away from 300. He goes, congratulations. Then he goes, it's all because of that awesome banner. I said, yeah, it is because he made my banner. Nice. On, my, uh, on my YouTube page. Okay, DJ. <clears throat> I'll post it for you. If it's okay with John. What's that? Post my link. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Everybody post your link. Everybody's got a green ranch. Everybody should be able to do that. Mary can't. Hi, Nancy. Well, if you, if you have her link, Des, would you share it? I will. Can you go out and grab it and tape it? Or what do you call it? Uh, post it, I can. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Good to see you. How you doing? We're just doing a little rib cook today, Nancy, out here in the beautiful weather. Here's um, here's Mary's Place's rent, um, ranch, um, website, YouTube site, All right. whatever. Oh, there you go. There we go. Well, look who it is. Look at that good looking stop sucker right there. Look at that. Oh, hey, guys. He's Somebody in the car. Cut. Yeah. You're looking good, DJ. Whoa. Uh oh. He's, frozen. He's in the car. Yeah. Look at you all nice and clean on the sides, DJ, huh? Yep. You know, that's the way I wear my hair for years, DJ, believe it or not, just like you. Hey, Peter. He wants to know yeah, what time you have to be there for dinner, John. Uh, well, you're in Florida, so it's going to be it's going to be a little no. bit. No, of... Peter. Peter's in New York. Oh, New York. That's right. Yeah, that's right. New York. I'm sorry, Peter. Yeah, you're going to have to catch that flight pretty quick because we're meeting about 6 o'clock Central Standard. So. Okay. Just get that corporate jet out of the hangar. Tell them to fuel it up and just head southwest. That's all you got to do. Just head southwest. Nancy says you're looking good, DJ. Good. Yes, guys. I'm in the call right now. I might not have the best signal at the moment. But, yeah, we'll, we'll stop. Oh, my link? I thought I posted my link. Okay, hold on. No, scroll up a little bit, Mary. It says um, Peaceful Dez's um, YouTube link right there. Now I can't get my link to open. How is everyone today? All right, hold on. Let me try this again, Mary. I'm uh, doing good, DJ. What about you? Doing good. Woke up at seven, and you know, been moving a bullshit. So yeah. Cool. Well, I'm, well, I'm be at home to walk on my mail. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, we're going to move into my kitchen because now I've got to uh, get the ribs out of the packaging and go ahead and get them seasoned up. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, you're going to go with me. Go on, go inside. Right. Okay, John, the show drop us. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, now. nice. He goes right into his kitchen. Well, uh, I'm, car I'm carrying this big... Uh, this tripod around too, so it's kind of hard, but it's working. See, I need a kitchen like that. All those windows, all that light. Say again, Des. I said I need a kitchen like that. All those windows and light. Oh, this kitchen's way too small for a cook like this guy. <laughs> well, I have a galley kitchen. Try a galley kitchen. I'm I'm gonna go uh, tie my hair back, guys, so I don't get hair in your food. I'll be right back. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, DJ, I didn't expect it that short. Yeah. <laughs> you went military. Come on. I always do. I thought you would have like a little bit of a sideburn going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's when I go grow it out. I tend to keep it a military cut for, yeah. Gotcha. You're leaving YouTube. Tell me. Why? Well, let's talk Good. about that. Let's talk about that elsewhere. But yeah, why? Hey, you guys, just talk amongst yourselves. I gotta uh, get this pan cleaned up, and then I'm gonna reposition you. Okay. No problem, John. Do what you gotta do. We got it. Uh, turn. You seem rude. That's all. <laughs> Yeah. That's all right. Get to look at your backside. Hey, easy. DJ get her, DJ yeah. get her. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we, Frank? <laughs> hey, Frank, you were supposed to be here this weekend, so you could have been helping me. Do this, He's busy plowing up there. They got more snow dumped up there. I know. I saw his video this morning. That was crazy. But then again, that's how you that's what happens when you live up north. Oh, Frank said, no, John, that was last weekend. Oh, that oh, it was last weekend. Okay, I stand corrected. I'm sorry. But you know, Frank, Frank you're all time. Yeah. yeah. Y'all don't believe being a barbecue gangster is a lot of work. Come stay at my house for a weekend. Hey, uh, uh Colby, oh, he had to drop out. Colby, uh, how you doing, man? My name's John. I don't think I've met you yet. Uh, but anyway, thanks for being here. Oh, don't leave, Colby. I just met you, bro. <laughs> And I'm not really doing this for the watch hours, guys. I'm doing this to show you my, my process start to finish. So I want it's me kind of sharing myself with you. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Des, is yes. we're gonna give you a bird's eye view. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you this. Let me try to position the camera a little bit better here. Okay, come down a little bit. Okay, so what you're seeing, guys, what your point of view is, is my sink. You have a two-compartment sink. 
This is for the ribs that are still in the package. I put them in this uh, compartment, which is very clean. I just cleaned it this morning at about 4.15 this morning. And I'm going to cut these packages open, wipe them down, put them on this rack or this, this big pan you just saw me wash. And that's what we're going to do, okay? Some of this is monotonous. I'm sorry, but we'll get to the good part soon enough. I promise. Frank, watch your mouth, Frank. I'm, I'm watching you, Frank. <laughs> Frank's behaving. All right. What I like to do is I like to uh, go ahead and cut all my packages open at one time. Excuse me, I make noise for a second, everybody. You're welcome, Frank. Now, don't expect that all the time. <laughs> I'm always kidding. Okay, DJ. Safe travels, you guys. They just got done at Publix. Dad just got done at Publix. Oh. They had to stop there before they headed home. Okay. They're probably going to card him to buy deodorant with his age, the way he looks at that haircut. <laughs> I know. He's so young. <laughs> we know he's 28, but he's got that baby face. Oh, excuse me, that baby face like my kids. My, do my son actually does, too. And there's nothing wrong with having a baby face. I wish I had one. Yeah, my son's, my son's 31, and he looks like he's 19. <clears throat> the problem is, Des, with my face, it's like a baby, all right? A baby that threw it up on himself. Oh, stop. Oh, get him no gone, dude. All right, guys, we're going to take, we're going to do two of these at a time. We're going to dry these off, okay? Now, I like to mess with my ribs when they are still slightly chilled, okay? Almost, you know, I took these out at about 8 o'clock this morning out of the freezer, out of the deep freeze, and I let them sit out at the sink. Now, they are, they're not pliable, okay? But I can bend them if I want to. And that just gives me just enough to where I can get back here and grab this membrane, and it's a lot easier to take off. And these ribs are almost frozen than when it's not. Right. Another little, another little trip. So right here, you pull that membrane right off of there. Now, a lot of people don't remove their membrane, and that's fine. You don't have to. There's no rules in barbecuing, right? You do whatever you want. See, Des, if I came and lived with you down there, Des, I could cook for you like this every night. Yeah, you could teach my kid how to do it, too. Yeah, there you go. The problem is we'd be drunker than skunks down there. Four drinks and I'd be skunk. I'm a, I'm a lightweight. Say again. Say again, four, dr four drinks and I'd be drunk as a skunk. I'm a lightweight. Oh, okay. All right, so let's get a rub together. Okay, guys, so today I'm going to be doing a, uh, well, Des <laughs> and whoever else I'm speaking with. Luis, if you're still here, dude, million dollar secret. Three parts to my rub today. Very simple rub because we're feeding very simple pallets. Smoked paprika, 32 mesh, coarse ground black pepper, and Morton's kosher salt. That's all we're going to use for our rub, guys. No binder today. Well, you know what? Screw that. Let's do a binder. Let's do a binder. What do you think? Let's do a binder. What do you think?
Okay, so Des, I'm sure you guys have taco places down there in Florida. Taco Casa, do you have Taco Casa? Des? So I'm going to use this as my binder, guys. But not very much of it. What's that, the salsa or the seasoning or whatever do you put on top yeah, of your taco? It's the hot sauce they give you when you order tacos at Taco Casa. And I'm just going to come over the top and just do a very little bit, guys. So not even a full packet for two slabs, okay? We're just going to rub this in. I know my son did one in the oven and he used mustard. It was so good. Now, whatever rub or whatever uh, uh, binder you use, you're not going to taste it anyway because the smoke is going to dominate it. You just use it to kind of give it a little bit more to grab onto, the rub that is. And we're not going to do the backs of the ribs like we normally do because these are baby backs and there's very little to no meat on the back. So let's go with the pepper first. Way up here. Give a good even coating. Okay. Then we're going to go with the kosher salt because it's the second most granular item. And then we're going to come in with the uh, smoked paprika. I always like to shake my spices up before I use them, kind of get a little fresher taste out of it. Sometimes I'll. You, sometimes I'll. I'll Sometimes I'll take this and my pepper and I'll put it in a little omelet pan over low heat and I'll just warm these up ever so slightly so that there are any more oils in them, they'll come out and it'll be more fragrant. Question, can you do the ribs without all that salt? You can do them, yes, you can. But remember, salt is a natural flavor enhancer and it's a tenderizer. I know, but if you've got high blood pressure, well, you shouldn't have pork anyway, but. Yeah, yes, you could totally, you could do them with nothing on them. And one of these days, I'll do that. I'll do that. And the paprika, guys, it's going to get plenty of smoke. I can't more than anything. Mary, Mary says, Mary says she uses sugar and slap your mama seasoning and smoke paprika. Yeah, you can do that too. Sure. That sounds really good, Mary. I used to use a lot of brown sugar. Matter of fact, I've got two or three packages in there that I don't even use anymore. But I used to use light brown sugar and dark brown sugar on my ribs. I found it because I smoked them so long in such a high heat, because I cooked mine, you know, kind of fast, that the sugar was kind of caramelizing too much. It was making the ribs too dark. So I just went away from the sugar. Plus, pork is naturally sweet anyway. So, and I'm going to be doing a spicy honey barbecue sauce at the end, guys. Okay, now we're just going to take our hands and rub this in, just to kind of pat it in. That's all we're going to do. It's called a rub, but you really don't want to rub it because then you'll get, you'll tear up the top uh, layer of your meat. You just want to pat it in. And you can actually skip this step if you have an extra 20 minutes. Just leave it out on the counter and it'll naturally absorb into the meat and the meat will push out a little bit more juice. It's called sweating. And that's when you know your, uh, your ribs are ready to go on. Okay, so we got two racks down, two to go. See, Des, I told you this wasn't going to take very long. You're going to do two with the taco seasoning, two without, or are you doing them all binded? I'm sorry? Are you going to do the same with the taco seasoning for the other two? Or are you going to leave those without? So you're going to do two non-binded, non, you know. I think I'm going to do something different, Des. I'm going to do a little test, a little experiment, if you will. I think I'm going to do two with what you just saw me do and two without. I want to see if there is a flavor difference. So this would be a great little control. Great idea, Des. Hi, Tony. 
Is that is that my is that my rock hound? Boom boom, Tony. Yes, it is. And Jonathan Zuck is here. Hey, Jonathan, how are you, man? Boom boom. Good to see everybody, man. Good to see you guys. We're just cooking little ribs. Don't don't mind me. We're just doing baby backs, if that's okay. Happy early birthday, Mary. Yeah, happy birthday, Mary. Her birthday is the fourth. Well, happy birthday, because I won't be there, so I'll tell her happy birthday. And Devil Dogs is today. I did. I already I already told him twice happy birthday. That's awesome. Oh, he should be awake now. I can message him. His phone's probably blowing up like crazy. You know, I could not imagine being as famous as he is. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't like that many people calling me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't mind that because that means that people care. Well, yeah, but I would imagine his is more like, hey, man, can you help me do this? Hey, man, how do I yeah, do Yeah, that's a different kind. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, Des, per your uh, suggestion, we are not going to uh, we are not going to put any kind of taco uh, sauce on this one. We're just going to come through here and cut off any little scraps of meat, which would be great for the dogs. They'll love that. But we are going to hit it with the same uh, seasoning that we did the others. And I'm going to go ahead and take this little bitty bone off the end because it's just going to burn up. Okay, these two look good enough to go. All right, again, pepper first. You really don't want to do too much pepper, guys, because this pepper will bite you. I like Take a little bit care, of pepper. Mary. I do like a little pepper on my ribs, but not too much. Mary's leaving. She says, take care, everybody. Okay, okay, Mary. Thanks for stopping by, sweetie. Happy birthday on the 4th. I'm one away from 300. Thank you, Mary. Awesome. Good job, Des. Proud of you, kid. Thank you. I like it. You can call me kid anytime you want to. Make me feel good. <laughs> Youngin. I call a lot of people kid. Youngin. <laughs> I know I say hun a lot. That's okay. That doesn't bother me. If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't call you hun. And I know, and likewise, Des, I, I wouldn't talk to half the people on YouTube the way I talk to you because I know that you and I have that kind of rapport where we can talk to, to each other, address each other in a certain way without getting offended. Yep. And well, real life, you don't, you don't want to be around me. I'm a hugger, man. I like to hug. Hey, I'm a Spaniard German. We hug. You know, guys, when we get these out in the sunlight, I'm going to show you what these look like in the full sunlight. You'll see what the uh, change of color and the way these look, okay? Right, Nancy? Italians, Spaniards, Germans, we're all huggers. Well, I'm Scottish, Irish, and Native American, so hide your potatoes and your women. <laughs> Show me that's kilt. <laughs> I'll take the kilt any day. Okay, just like that, guys. We got all four of our racks rubbed down. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> no, no kilt. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> You're very lucky, Jonathan. They say we got lucky. We didn't get any of those tornadoes that came up from Arkansas. Oh, man. I'm glad, too. That's uh, – was uh, was uh, was uh, Belt Loop impacted in those Mississippi storms?
Des, do you know? I, he was on last night, and he seemed okay so far, but this is a different day, so I don't know. German. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I did my um, ancestry, so there's a lot to me. Yeah, I did my ancestry, and at the end where it says uh, certain percentages, it just says yeah. 100% effed up. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I, I knew right away I was, I was in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can never figure out this stupid thing. So I'm 42% Spaniard, 31% German, European. Now the question, hey guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you and I'm going to set you up uh, with the, with the vision of the smoker, because then I've got to come back with that pan of ribs and put them on. I just want you guys to be able to have a full scale of what's going on. So I'm going to put you out here in advance and I'll come out with the, uh, aforementioned items let's see here you got a good view there let's turn you up a little bit okay you'll be able to see inside the pit like that okay purple johnson said we got the hail the strong winds and the rain that's why it wasn't on last night on anyone's lives because that's how it's watching for possible tornado action so it was a long night at the fire department i can only imagine I wouldn't want a call like that. It's not like the government doesn't have my DNA anyway, because I was in the army for a short time. So I'm fingerprinted and all that stuff. Don't mind me while I have some pork rinds. Oh, you're doing that keto thing, huh? No, I'm not. I'm just doing. Okay. Hey, you want some of this right here, Des? Without the um, hot and spite, the hot um, sauce on it, sure. All right. Let's get them bad boys in their home for the next four hours, yeah? See, Frank, your, your DNA is already out there. <laughs> Jonathan. You know what this is, Des? For the coal? Nope. Well, it is. Yes, that's what I use oh, it for. Oh, to get to open up the slide out so you can yeah, put your run. Yeah, that does, baby. Yeah. It's also my rattlesnake getter. <laughs> I hope you wash it between. <laughs> oh, hell no. That's where all the flavor is. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see. Are you on again tonight, Jonathan? Or are you off tonight? I'm not sure how you guys do it in the uh, fire department, how many days on and how many days off. I was going to say your neighbor attention getter. <laughs> Check her fire and see what we got going there. All right. All right, guys, excuse me. I'm going to go wash up the pan. I'll be right back. Let's get some of that right there. Get some of that, girl. Oh, my gosh. 300. Thank you, Mary. Woo, woo. Let's hold on to that spot for a week, and I'm good to go. Thank you again, Mary. That was really kind of you to put me out there. I always worry when I hit 
when I hit my number, I'm always worried they're going to take 10 away from me. So unless it holds for like a week or so, then I'll be even more excited. <clears throat> that means I have to get on these sticker things first and so get them out. <laughs> you unsubscribe, get your butt back on my channel. That means I'll, t I'll cross you off of my sticker list. I know you didn't. I, I, I know you didn't. You were playing, pulling my leg. But, you know, I could always um, take you off my sticker list. Yeah, my problem is I don't have a lot to show for short videos except for the mail calls and maybe a little ride. But the ride, I'm still, it's iffy because I need a car mount for my car. And everywhere I've been going online, I haven't been able to find one for my, my phone. So I'm on the hunt for um, one to hang up. So when I do go out, I can use this. Frank, I've got 60 people that requested stickers. It's coming. It's coming slowly, but it's coming. No, I have not, Jonathan. I will, though. Hold on. Let me pull your... I want to pull your... Um, I want to pull it. Thank you. Thank you. How am I not subscribed to your channel? I subscribed... Okay, so you got another subscriber, um, Jonathan. Yeah, I know, Mary. My problem is I don't have anything to film. Yes, yeah, yours, Jonathan. I don't have much to film, so um, it's hard to put anything out there. <clears throat> because I don't have a garden or a yard, and I, I'm disabled, so I can't stand at the counter and cook. Okay, Des, so I just went in there and I just cleaned up my hand, my knife, my scissors, washed my hands. Holy moly, that was fast. And now I can sit back and hang out and chill out with you guys. Dogs are out here. Beautiful day. Well, we're, you got we're up to 250 degrees. We're looking for 275. Awesome. And how long do they stay in the cooker for? The uh, slow cooker. So the Baby backs, they'll cook faster. So three hours, I'll be done with them. But I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make a part one and a part two, this being part one and part two. I'm going to cut this at some point so I can charge my battery. And then I'll do a part two, like an hour, right about an hour before I take them off. Um, and, uh, and, of course, then we'll uh, do a taste test between the two, the, uh, one, the hot sauce and ones without. Uh, we'll do a little live taste test here uh, so everybody can kind of see. Uh, I'm trying to read the chat here. Cool, Mary. My problem is I just got to figure out what I want to film because my channel is basically a channel of nothing other than lives so and uh, mail calls. <clears throat> That's like a, your, 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 uh, your life is like a Seinfeld episode. It's a story about nothing. <laughs> Mary's like, put some, put some shorts out there. But I'm like, what do I film? I mean, I sit right here. <laughs> And I get in the car to go to the store. That's about the extent. And I don't see anything interesting between here and there. And nothing's going on in the store. So it's like, what do I film? <laughs> you 
Yeah, Jonathan, uh, I've got a friend of mine that's going to be bringing me some beer here directly. So I sure earned one, and I don't have any on board. So, uh, Ooh. And I don't want to go straight to moonshine. It's too early for that. Maybe I'll go to my – I've got beer, a six-pack in the fridge. Oh, let's see. I knew I was forgetting something. That or tequila. <laughs> I'm out of milk for Kahlua. <clears throat> You could have a white Russian. No, I don't like um, I don't like um, vodka, or gin, or rum, or any of that stuff. Ah, uh, Tony, you're killing me, you're killing me, man! You got your gold beer, huh? Good for you. So, what's it like out there in the Arizona wash today, Tony? Is it really hot? Is it cold? Is it windy? Is it raining? What's the story out there in Arizona, brother? Ooh, rum chata is good, Jonathan. I love rum chata. What is a rum chata? Well, you can buy it already made. It's in a in a big. Uh, it's like a cordial. It's, it's like cordial. milk. It's like a white Russian kind of. But it's already made up for you. Very low alcohol content. We have too many. Um, we have too many people in the corners begging for money. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Who and calm, Tony says. Okay. There's only there's only one person that I would have filmed, and he was a vet, and I have not seen him in a while. He has him around the corner near my job that I volunteer at. So. He would have been the only one because he's so he was so cool, so sweet. Yes, I agree, Jonathan. Very good with coffee. It's actually good over vanilla ice cream, too. Uh, you know, you could do uh, like uh, apple pie or cherry pie or peach pie, warm it up a little bit in the microwave. Put a hey, big old, put a big old uh, scoop of vanilla bean ice cream on it and just, just drizzle, just ever so beautifully, just drizzle that rum chata down. Oh, yeah, on that ice cream and that pie. Oh, babe. No, Frank, it wasn't. Panchuco hey, came in. Panchuco, how you doing, sir? Des, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh... No, it's cool. Let me ask Frank something real quick. The sunflower, right, uh, Frank? I'm going to throw the link up here, guys. So if anybody wants to jump up here, uh, you're more than welcome to do that while I've got time. Uh, and uh, more than welcome to come up and say hi to everybody. Because uh, like I said, I'm going to be cutting this uh, here after a while so I can go get, uh, well, so I can make sure I got beer and um, uh, charge my phone as well. So. I'll be watching the basement. If anybody wants to come up, come on up. You're welcome to. <laughs> yeah, come out and hang out with us. Or not. Whatever. Me and Des have fun. No That's all right. What. We'll just hang out together. Well, they're still here. I mean, you know, they can still <laughs> hear us. They can still I know. Well, just good they're in the basement. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> oh, I agree. I agree 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frank, come on, Frank. Come on, uh, uh, Aldo. I, mean, I do not yell at you, Frank. I mean, <laughs> oh, there's somebody. Okay, we got to take her, Des. Oh, look who it is. Rebecca? Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's Tony. Tony. Hey. Got a little time today. I might as well join you. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's yeah. pretty nice out. It's gorgeous out. Okay. Is that a mountain on, when I look over your shoulder, your left shoulder, by the, by the RV? Is that yeah, a mountain? Yeah. I don't know if I'd call it a mountain. It's a big hill. Okay, so it's a hill, but still, it's a mountain compared to Florida. Yeah, you, you can kind of see it there. <laughs> oh, Des, <laughs> Des, look at here. We we overshot our temp. 
Uh oh, what do you do? Have, you have to vent it a little bit. I'm going to show close you. Close it down. We're going to close down this vent to half, and that should take care of it. But we're also cool. going to come here, and we're going to close off our exhaust just by about a quarter of the way, which is that's our exhaust stack up hey, there. Starve the ox you starve it oxygen to cool it down a little bit. Yeah. Gotcha. Just to give it oxygen to heat her up. Yeah, just just for a little bit because you don't want to get too much uh too much white smoke. So as soon as I start white smoke, I'll open it back up. Cool. Oh, uh, this is my view. One of my kids are coming down. I have to turn up. Oh look at those uh what is it Sakara what is it called? Sueros. Thank Swirl you. Cactus. Yep. Yes. Lots of them out here. Those are ancient, man. They're uh, at least a hundred years old. Each one, each arm of those is a hundred years. It reminds oh, really? me of um, it reminds me of St. Thomas when uh, we lived in St. Thomas. We had them on the, on the island, and one of them fell on my brother, and we had to prick off like a whole arm out of his hair and his in his head and his uh, shoulders and arms, but the whole arm fell off the cactus. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't hang hammocks on them. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't hang hammocks on them either. <laughs> well, it's still legal, isn't it? Aren't they protected? Yeah. Um, I believe they are here, at least. I know in a couple of the parks, you can't even get near them. You're not supposed to even touch them or nothing. Yeah. Here, I'm I'm out in public land, so, you know, I play with them. I play with them all. Yeah, I've got a few of them stuck in me pretty good, too. Jonathan says that's where you find tarantulas in Arizona. I haven't found one yet. I haven't found a scorpion or a snake or nothing yet. And wow. I've been looking. Snakes are out in droves here, Tony. I mean, snakes are all over the place. <laughs> Heck really? Me. I've been hiking around out here every day, you know, for shoot, 10 or 12 days now. <laughs> I, can go, I could go right now in my yard. And dig out one of my plants. Oh, gotcha. The root ball, there will be a uh, rough earth snake embedded in that root ball. Wow. Well, to be fair, it wasn't your block that threw. Oh, God, oh, God. Hello, Templin Acres. Welcome. That's Katie. Hey, Katie. Yeah, I guess, oh, let me get there. Oh, there we go. Flip the camera okay. around so you don't have to listen to my boy all I the like, time. I like when um, Tony shows the cactuses <laughs> and all the desert flowers and stuff because they're so cool. Hey, Tony, I got a no, question. We were, we were, go for it. I got a question uh, concerning rocks and ge geological formations. Okay. So we're going to start a job on two. Yeah, there's two 20% battery reminder. So, yeah, I'm going to have to cut this here after a while. <laughs> but uh so this lady has a bunch of washed river rock God, they slow looks, down and that's kind of scary like granite because it's really dark blue like really dark it's real heavy and it's got veins of like white <laughs> milk quartz going through it um, right like some of them are just real thin as a as a hair you can barely see them some are broad banded i'm going to collect some of these have already been tumbled i mean they're you know they're about yay big yeah they're river rocks some of them have the most beautiful veins running through I've ever seen. So as I'm over there, I'm going to collect some of the prettier ones and show those to you. And just you could kind of tell me what they are. And, and some of those have got to be ancient, ancient. You know, those layers didn't get there overnight, you know. So, well, sometimes, you know, during a volcanic eruption, when it, the volcano is spitting out all this rock. Um, of course, this forms underground, yeah, too. Um, the quartz can be milked out so micro thin <laughs> and it, it is pretty cool. I don't have one sitting here. I picked up one yesterday that had red and white layers in it, hmm. really super thin layering. And it's like the, the hot rock just kept going like this and under pressure that gets squished down thin. That makes sense. And some of them can be quite beautiful. I, I've, I've gone amazing. out to that, river lock like you're talking about for landscaping throw them in a tumbler and polish them up some of the best rocks i ever had <laughs> well let me tell you something you also got to be on the lookout for what? diamonds a lot of people don't know what a diamond looks like before it's processed right they look like a, a clear version of milk quartz you know they they just look like mm -hmm. like a milk quartz that they're not polished they'll have an oily look to them they'll look different 
sports, but man, there could be a diamond in there that you don't even know if you're not if you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, well, you find out in a tumbler quick because they yeah. do not tumble. Oh, is that right? They come out of that first stage of the tumbler where you're using a really hard grit, and that silicon carbide doesn't really do anything to a diamond. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, it's all that pressure. Or, yeah, on that the quartz. It takes a long time. Damn. I mean, that's a hard rock, so it takes time. But kind of you can see the difference in between each polishing stage on a quartz. But uh, I've never got lucky enough to find a diamond, but I've seen people that have found them just like you're saying. Pick it up, throw it in the tumbler, and it's like, oh, that, nothing happened to this rock. It's a little little clearer, and they mm -hmm. do it again and again. But if you throw that in there for a year, it comes out perfect. Well, you know, it doesn't mean it's necessarily uh, yeah. valuable. Because it's a diamond. Even, all winks. Even hit me. A lot of uh, a lot of people think all diamonds are are you know if it's got a big. <laughs> blue, like I need a so bad. Mm -mm. Or so. speed. Or speed. So guys, you know, a lot me... of the stuff I pick up, okay. people would oh that's a diamond. Well, it's not. <laughs> right. Right. Hey guys, let me do this. Let me go ahead and uh, end this live stream now, okay? Because. I've got about two more hours of dead time that you guys could be doing something else. No I'm way you got that shot without a balance. And I will put another what? message on my page when I go live again. Okay, that's close. Okay, John. And I'm I'm estimating that to be two hours yeah. right now, whatever time it is now, about two hours from now. So that's um, that's uh, six o'clock. Okay, that'll be great. So about six o'clock, guys, I should be live okay. again. Okay, Sounds John. good, buddy. Charge okay. your phone. You guys have a great day. I'll see you after. Uh, <laughs> you too. Okay, guys. Thank you. I have no idea what happened.